In today's video, I'm sharing my after shower routine for all the girls out there who have curly and frizzy hair like I do. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Shruti and welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe and healthy and also practicing social distancing in this tough situation. So today's video is for all the girls out there who have frizzy and curly hair just like I do and are looking for ways to maintain their hair texture. I get a lot of questions from my family and friends or even my followers on Instagram as to how I manage my hair considering I have curly hair, I have frizzy hair, and I also have thick hair. So I decided I would come on here and share my after shower routine because it did take me about three to four years to figure out this routine and it works really well for me. I do this routine once a week after I have washed my hair or sometimes once in 10 days if I get too lazy to wash my hair, which happens pretty often. So without any further ado, let's get right into my after shower routine. First of all, I'm going to be taking my favorite Revlon's all-in-one hair treatment that I've been using for about 4 years now. I usually just spray a few pumps all over my hair because it helps me detangle my hair easily, protects my hair from the heat, and also conditions my hair. Next, I'm going to take my wet detangler brush by Tangle Teaser to detangle my hair. I make sure to start at the bottom of my hair first and then make my way up to my roots. Next, I'm going to take this Argan Oil by OGX. I've had this bottle for about a year and a half now and a few drops go a very long way. I take about 3-4 to four drops, rub it in my palm and then apply it to the bottom of my hair as that's where my hair is most dry. Lastly, I'm going to take this Bond Smoother by Olaplex No. 6. I found this bottle at Sephora for about $30. I take two drops of it, rub it in my palm and apply it to my hair. This product helps reduce the drying time and helps with the frizziness as well. Then I take my wet detangler brush again to brush off my hair and let the product spread evenly. Now I'm going to take the GHD hair dryer. This is a high-end hair dryer, works really well with an only downside of it not being dual voltage. So I'm just going to rough dry my hair before I go ahead and blow dry my hair out completely. Rough drying my hair first helps reduce the blow drying time as well. This is how my rough dried hair looks like. Now I'm taking the detangler brush again to brush off my hair. I use three sectional hair clips to create different sections in my hair. I start at the bottom to section of my hair and clip the rest of my hair. Now I'm going to take this paddle brush by Dry Bar that I recently discovered and it works like magic. I take bigger sections to make this process faster. You can already see how easy it is to smooth my hair out versus if I were to use a round brush. I repeat this same process on the other side. I'm also making sure that I go into my roots again to ensure they're completely smooth. Now I'm repeating this process for the rest of my hair.
morning routine. You guys can see how smooth my hair is and it's not frizzy anymore because obviously the secret one is this paddle brush right here. It takes me about 20 minutes to dry my hair out completely. It used to take me about like 45 minutes to an hour when I used to use a round brush to blow dry my hair but then I just didn't have a lot of patience and I was looking for other tools to help me reduce that drying time so I'm not using like a lot of heat on my hair. So I usually do this at night and the next day I would usually curl it out or I would just straighten some of the strands that I think are frizzy and then just leave it straight. And if you don't follow me on Instagram already, make sure to give me a follow. I share a lot about fashion, beauty and lifestyle and my Instagram handle is Shruti in Style. And if you did like this video, make sure to give me a big, big, big thumbs up. Every time I get a like on my video, it just encourages me to do more videos or even comment if you thought this video was helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss out on any new videos that I'll be uploading. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!